Hello, I'm Steve, and this is Teddy. I am a math teacher at a community college, and I have this channel, Black Pen Red Pen. First of all, I want to thank you guys for almost 500,000 subscribers. Man, 500,000 subscribers, that's a lot. That's way more than I can ever imagine. Thank you guys so much for your love, all your support throughout the years. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I first uploaded my video back in 2013, and the original intention for me to have this channel was so that I can just put that link to my resume because I was applying for jobs. I did get a job. The current one right now, I loved it. So I guess it worked. Anyway though, here I am, almost 500,000 subscribers. So I would like to share with you guys some of the things that I have learned throughout these years. Let's talk about some of the, what are the benefits of having a math channel. Well, first of all, you will have your own community. That's extremely cool, you know. You have all the supporters. Oh, it's, it's seriously the best thing. Like, people will cheer you up, people will leave nice comments, and people will catch your mistake when you are doing something wrong on the board, and they will teach you, hey, you can also do it this way. It's amazing. It's so amazing to have you guys. And if you guys can build up your community, you guys will love it too. Seriously. All right. Next, I will tell you, you can actually learn a lot more math. Because one is that you have to think about what are the things that you have to produce to make videos for the viewers. So you have to force yourself to do more researches. And that's what I do sometimes. And I remember like many years ago, before I, have, um, before I really take YouTube this seriously, I didn't really do that much math, to be honest with you guys. Especially after grad school, I was just doing what I needed to do for my classes. That was it. I, I feel kind of guilty about that. But I'm getting better because I want to do my best to provide better content for you guys. Especially more math for fun questions for you guys. And the second thing is that the people in the comments, they will provide you with a lot of things that you perhaps you have never seen before. They will direct you to certain books, certain websites, or maybe certain videos, and you can check out a lot more questions, topics, theories, theorems, definitions. I have learned a lot more math, such as the Feynman's Technique for Integration, okay? Four-year series. Seriously, I didn't learn that before. And then let's see what else. Solving Puna exam questions, and a lot of number theory questions, and uh, a lot of cool calculus integration tricks, definitely. And number three is that you can actually become a better explainer. And that's crucial if you want to be a math teacher or if you just purely love math. Because if you love math, I think you should also share that with other people so that you can get a full fulfillment, you can get the best joy out of it. And when you record, man, it's a totally different story than you are trying to teach somebody face to face. Because you have to be really, really good when you are in front of a camera because it's being recorded. It really forced you to think about concise explanation you provide in the video. So you will become a better explainer, guaranteed. Number four, and this is pretty much what I was doing when I first started my channel. You can build your math library. So you have your little own collection. Nowadays, you can say, hey, this is my YouTube channel. Come and subscribe, and then watch my videos. A lot of fun, right? Your own library, it's going to be a great help if you want to pursue like a teaching career, or maybe even in grad school, or maybe like job applications. It's not just cool, it's super cool. And it's not just super cool, I think it's really effective. Because think about it, how many people have a math YouTube channel? And you build up your portfolio, and again, as I said, you can just include that when you apply for jobs. Lastly, of course, this is not the last one. I just want to list out five of them for you guys. I will tell you, this right here is the future, because just look at the current situation. Nobody expected this, but if you have a YouTube channel, you know, it's actually very easy for you to transition to online education. Seriously, it's the future of how you use videos to deliver content. I think that's my strong belief on that. 
Okay, here are my 10 tips for you if you would like to start your YouTube channel. And all these right here are just based on my own experience. And I hope you guys find them to be helpful if you do want to try them out. All right, the first one, if you want to start your YouTube channel with the goal of building your own community, then I would suggest you to start with fun map problems. So what do I mean by that? Problems such as the pull name percent questions, such as the map competition questions, like the ME or the AMC questions, or maybe just some fun integration questions. Because those questions, you don't see them often in the school setting. For example, if you are in a calculus class, you know you just do the typical related rate, derivative, typical integrations. But for the math competition questions, those are a lot more creative. Those are the ones that you might not even have seen before. And those are the ones that people like. Because the math community people, they like to think. They like to see something that they have never seen before. All right. And if you want to start, I would suggest you to keep your videos short. I would say anything be like around eight minutes or so, it's a good time. If you make the video for too long, and especially when people don't know you, they tend not to click on longer videos in my experience. And I think that's what other people will suggest you as well. If you watch other channel where they talk about how to start YouTube channel in general, keep the videos short. That's a usual suggestion for um, new content creators. And then for number three, I will suggest you guys to show yourself in the video. The truth is I have done the other formats before, such as I just like record myself writing over a paper. I was literally black pen, red pen. Multiply the top and bottom by its conjugate of the bottom, which is we are going to multiply one minus sine x. And one minus sine x top and bottom like this, and then still have the dx, right? Like during my first year. And later on, I bought a tablet. We'll call that the opposite side. Just like the Khan Academy style. I like that because it's really convenient for me to use. But among these three methods, I think the best one is when I put myself in front of the whiteboard and then just go over it. I feel a lot more comfortable of doing the math and also. The most important thing is that this is perhaps the best way for us to make a personal connection. I think that's extremely important. That way you can see how I look like, you guys can see my reaction, you guys can see <laughs> how tired I get when I do the math marathon videos and all that stuff. So I understand. Some of you guys might not want to show yourself in the video, which I think is totally okay. You can still do the questions over the tablet or just on a piece of paper. As long as you have some kind of personality injecting into the video, I think that will still be great. But the second point, so I will say this is 3.5, right? If you want to show yourself, then be sure you have to have a good camera angle. Notice that I always put a board right here. I always stand on the right of the video. I will always make sure that I do not block the things that I write. So I will make sure I, will, I don't do this, right? I don't do that. I will make sure that you guys see the things I'm writing when I talk, right? And I'll, of course, I will try to make eye contact with you guys whenever I can. So this right here is, is perhaps the tricky part for number three. It's maybe also debatable. The best thing of using the tablet is that it's super clear and you don't have to, you know, write down the questions on the board every single time. You can just have the computer version of that and also the nice graph. And um, some of you guys might even want to try animations or that. I think those are the most clear ones. But again, my suggestion is that if you show yourself in the video and have a good camera angle, this right here is the best way for us to make a personal connection. That's what I'm trying to say. And of course, I love like three blue one bronze videos. Like it's really clear. And Khan Academy, where you know he is the pioneer of the math channel. So shout out to them, big time. All right, all right. Number four, get a mic. Don't get Xiao Tutu because she is the only one. Get a mic like this, <laughs> or get a mic. You get a bowl, right? You guys know uh, the bowl I use. Because here's the deal. You might be okay when you watch a video that is low quality in terms of like maybe like 480p or maybe like 720p or maybe 240p maybe you can survive that 
But the moment if you don't have a good audio, people just don't want to watch it. I think that's that's the deal, right? So in 2015, I really couldn't even stand my own audio in the video. That's why I decided to buy the mic, the ball. And this is a hard question. Why? Because we have to use integration by parts. But it's not that hard. Why? Because we have the DI method for it. Right? The ball. Yes, I'm serious. I'm going to show you guys how to integrate the Cube Root of Tangent X. The original intention was just so that I can have a better quality of the sound for you guys. And later, a lot of people, a lot of you guys just commented on the ball and like, Oh man, what's that ball? What's that ball? All those stuff. And then, yeah. So, definitely have a good audio. I think that's definitely a key to, uh, to make your video good. Alright, number five. This right here. You should have one thing to make people remember you. My original intention is black pen, red pen. I was trying to show that I was able to write with both pens on the paper. <laughs> and then, in full to that, okay, once I get a ball, and uh, people start to call me that the, the guy with the ball and do the math. But it doesn't really matter anymore, I guess, because I have one thing to make people remember me. <laughs> Originally, it was black and red pen, and later it's the ball. And perhaps now, I have Teddy, and I have Xiao Tutu, and I don't know what else you guys would like to uh, say. But definitely try to have one thing to have people remember you. Three blue, one brown. He has the most amazing voice in all the math videos, I would say, in all, in all his videos. And um, Dr. Payan, for example, he is the happiest mathematician. Hi, so <laughs> my name is Payan, and um, <laughs> it's amazing because I like food, pie, and I like math, pie. And Professor Pan. Okay. He does backflips in his videos. Think about it. How many math professors can do backflips? I cannot. If I try to do a backflip, I will end up with sloppy tails, right? No good. I think this is definitely the one that you have to think really, really hard on how to make people remember you. And I think this is only a good strategy if you want to go out to impress girls, or maybe girls if you're watching. Think about this so you can go out to think about how to impress guys. All right, moving on to number six. Sell the math in the thumbnail. Advertise the formula. Advertise the integral. Advertise e to the pi is equal to pi to the e. Make it super clear on what the math you are going to demonstrate so that people will click because this is, how peop this is what math people like. And... Um, you, if you guys would like, you guys can ask me. I will be happy to make another video on how I do my thumbnails. And you guys can also check out Professor Pen's channel because I think he has the most beautiful thumbnails. Every time his thumbnails, they look different. But for some reason, I know that's his thumbnail, which is really impressive, I think. It's, um, it's amazing. I think the color combination is just really beautiful. I really like his thumbnails. Alright, so number six, sell the thumbnails. I mean, not sell the thumbnail. You cannot sell the thumbnail. But sell the map in the thumbnails. Alright, number seven. This is crucial right here. When you start your video, you can do a short intro. Hi, my name is Blackpen Repent. Then, please, get right ahead to the math. Right? Start with the math right away. You can propose the question. This is the one we're trying to do. What's 1 plus 5? And then, you can ask the people to, you know, try this out first. And, yeah. I will not suggest you guys to just start your video by asking people to subscribe, to introduce who you are. To be honest, YouTube viewers might not care. I don't do that anymore neither. I would just like to just get into the map right away unless I do like a marathon video. Because I really have a lot of things that I want to say when I do a marathon video. Alright, number eight. In my opinion, try not to cut your video too much or try not to edit your video too much when you first start and have some reasons. First, if you cut your video, sometimes it, the video just doesn't go that smoothly. And if you are making videos for the first time, it's really hard to know what to cut as well. And if you don't cut or don't edit your videos, 
In fact, you can save a lot of times. And the truth is, among all the videos that have the most views, they are not edited at all. I think people just like to look at the raw footages. So leave a comment down below, let me know if that's the case. Actually, I do not know about that, but that's just the connection I've seen. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. So again, number eight, minimize the number of cuts. It's, I think the few appreciates that, and you will also find yourself saving a lot of times of not editing your videos. If you just get started, try to do everything in one go. Even though you make some mistake, it's okay. Just erase and just continue, record, and then upload a video. That's it. Another thing is that people like to see me messed up in the videos. That's just how things are. That's how my students are as well in real life. So leave that. It's for the good, I will say. All right, number nine, the WTF factor. I'm not saying try to find the factor, all right? Yeah, the WTF factor. What do I mean by that? Do something that people have not seen before. I did a six hour math video last year with 100 integrals. <sighs> Just like that. That was really crazy. But I did that for loss. Please also like, leave some nice comment uh, you know, to, to, to wish him well. Yeah, to wish him well. He's battling with cancers. Have you ever seen a six hour math video before in one go? I don't think so, right? Hmm, I might give you an idea. If today you can integrate x to the x power times sine of e to the x minus tangent x, like this, if you can find the answer to this integral, I think you can, you know, you can be famous. But don't try this because this is for sure not possible because I just make that up right now. Just add this to the third power. There we go. Yeah, try again. Number 10. I will say this is the most important one of all, not just for math channels, but in fact for all the channels. Listen to the viewers. Especially for the math channel, I will say the viewers provide the best feedbacks, provide the best ideas on what your new video should be. Listen to the viewers, interact with them, reply to their comments. They will really appreciate that too. And this is how you can really build your community if that's your original goal, all right? I think this right here are my 10 tips. A lot more can be said, but um, I don't have any more space. <laughs> but anyway, though, if you guys think about anything else that I could have added to the list, please sure to leave a comment down below and let us know. And maybe we will see how it goes. And if you do start your channel, let me know. And let me see if I can do anything to help you. Or maybe I can give you more uh, suggestions or whatsoever. Yeah. It has been a great journey in the past many years. And hope that this journey can keep on going for a long time. It's an ultra marathon. Again, thank you guys so much for the 500,000 subscribers. I know we are going to reach that pretty soon. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. Bye.